Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dom as usual. What's my channel? But anyway, today I'll be showing you the Tribunal deck that I decided to run during the most recent Gauntlet, which was the Modern Gauntlet, and um, I'll be honest, I was quite looking forward to it because you could have any card that you own or don't own. However, the number of Invade decks that I came up against made me a little bit livid. Like, I lost one game at 15 health because uh, my opponent got a Siege Crawler with five different keywords. But anyway, enough ranting and let me show you some of the good games. <laughs> right, Tribunal Mirror Match. It should be fun. And the game, yep, the game does like it. Good. I was worried it was just going to give up on me there. Okay, so, um, hands all right, I guess. Grand Inquisitor is a bit too late game for me at the moment. Because I'm hoping they're not running Invade. Because the Grand Inquisitor's just made for Invade. <laughs> or anti-Invade, that is. So, I mean, we got Indoral Mastermind. Just nice for draw power. Tribunal Oathman. Good for buffing up our Magicka. And who done it? Same as Tribunal Oathman, really. Just buffing Magicka. Okay, it's a bit of an early reanimate. We don't really have anything dead at the moment that we kind of want to res. A recruit, okay. Um, well, that's not too big of a threat. On its own, at least. I mean, lethal's a bit worrying. I mean, do I just get down an arm Alexia's Disciple just so I can get rid of it? Just so future turns don't have that risk? I mean, I can do, I guess. I serve the healing mother. Just don't see me doing that much healing, to be honest, so... It's kind of worth it. Gets the job done at least. Just gotta wait for them to choose something to do now. Because, I mean, they're gonna probably go for face with the recruit. I don't see why they wouldn't. And then. Well, it is tribunal, so I'm assuming they would be playing a lot later than this. Item tribunal, maybe. Time to take matters but I don't know why they went with that. <laughs> Because now our Alexia's Disciple can just destroy it. Tell you what, we'll Tribunal Oathman this turn. Behold just so we can get that magic buff. Then we'll get rid of our Disciple. And what, we got five magic to play of next turn? I mean, Light of the Free is good, but we do need to actually fill up a lane. <laughs> oh. I mean, we've got Temple Conjurer now. You will Which could be an option. But then Endoral Mastermind's they nice for draw power. So we'll see what we get. We get another Disciple. We'll hold on to that for now. The War Claws and their pay. You will right, I guess we'll hit face a bit. So predictable. And then... Maybe Clockwork City Pilgrim, actually. Just block up the shadow lane. That stops their rally at least, or it means they have to trade to uh, get the rally off successfully. Or destroy the unit, but with this event, a lot of the removal cards aren't in the game. Because most of them came around quite early. Okay, not bad. Your death. Um, maybe Light of the Free, actually, because then we can get rid of their imbued Argonian with the Indoral Mastermind. The the Plus, then it now means we've got a beefy so wall. <laughs> Which, if we go straight for face, will mean that Ebonheart Oracle doesn't matter as much. Gods. Not got much for the, uh, Necromancer. Yeah, that's fair. Pretty good. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite slow to get past that gatekeeper now when they got a double drainer on the other side. Um, wow. I mean, obviously, I guess, just try and damage the gatekeeper for now. 
I guess maybe Temple Conjurer. If I put it in the shadow lane, that means we can then use the Flame Atronach to deal with the Oracle off the Gatekeeper's dead. I mean, those Necromancers, I'm not really too sure what use they're actually going to do in this deck, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I will like the dragon fires. That's all they're really going for that Healy playstyle with Baron and Ebonheart Oracle. Right, so Conjurer's going to get rid of the Gatekeeper. The trade to get rid of the Hunger, and then the trade to get rid of the Oracle. But if we might see Conjuring as well, actually, because that's that's really good. You will submit to our gods. And uh, yeah, we'll break a ring just to do if we've done it, just so we get more Magicka for future turns. See, I'm not too sure how Necromancer works with resurrecting Exalt creatures. It's not a summon ability. It just says Exalt, so... I don't know, it could be weird. Worth checking out the hard way, though. I mean, I was going to kill it anyway, but sure. So, I'll slap that. Might as well get rid of him. Just he's got a lot of power. And then let's find out and see if it will let us resurrect our what's it called? Temple Conjurer and then Exalt. Evidently not. Okay. Um cool, we're just piercing Twilight as well then. Might have to get rid of Ebonheart Oracle. Just cause you know, if they've got multiple of them, that'd be a big pain. It only got rid of the one, so they've either got two in hand or one in hand. Or they just don't have any of us. I mean, it's a decent little play, but we can just use our mastermind to proc the ward and then break through. You are not my power. So predictable. And then I guess who done it again, because why not? Um, there's nothing we really want to reanimate. I mean, Lava Ratronax the only thing that we could even consider. And that's on the board and about to get healed. And yeah, we, we could put down an Ordinator, to be honest. Or try another Necromancer, but it's just all the units are exalt. I think they might get removed from this deck before I go into any others. I mean, I'm guessing they'll go with um, Lava, yeah. That's not going to save them from a direct attack, though, nor is that. So, um, yeah, I guess good game. We just Necromancer, then Lava Atronach. Oh, this could destroy it. Nobody breaks the law no, my Cool, we'll just block that then. And that's game one done. Right, hopefully this isn't... Okay, it's not Guild Sworn. <laughs> it's not Guild Sworn. That's good. I've lost four games in a row to Guild Sworn. I'm now on my second run. <laughs> right, um... I'll get rid of Grand Inquisitor because I'm hoping this isn't Invade. I'm actually begging this isn't Invade. Or I'm going to regret so much getting rid of the Inquisitor. Please, please tell me it isn't Invade. I just want to see something other than Inve I, I, this is going to seem weird because it's going to be just a cut from like a game where I've won to this but it's Invade cool just going to go cry in a corner so um <laughs> I, I don't really know what to do now just try and win and they've now got cheap Daedra okay yep yeah that's cool that's cool. Uh, I'm just a bit speechless. I I just guess maybe Vigilant Ancestor try and stop them from hitting me. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the defender's just decent, but it's not amazing. I mean, I guess we'll I could wound the, the Spider Daedra, so that's a trade. But that's the best I can do, really. The issue is that the majority of the removal left in the game with the modern gauntlet is in invade. <laughs> Which is pretty much the strongest thing during this. And I did make them get rid of the Spider Daedra, which is good, because that's got a lot of power. I guess we have to use the ring again to just summon an ordinator. Won't even be able to get off its result. We just need to try anything to kind of, sort of, get a good footing. I don't want to be hit by another, what was it, bloody Siege Crawler, which had... So it, they had like a level, max level Oblivion Gate or something, it gave like a lot of keywords. I know it had Charge, Drain, Ward. <laughs> and obviously it had Breakthrough anyway. So in an event like this, it's not fun. It might have got Regenerate as well. I can't really remember. I, I tried to blank it from my memory. I greet Oblivion with open arms. Oh dear, that lane is looking bad. Um, I'm just partially tempted you just to go. Yeah, no, I'm just wanting to heal a bit for now. Let's try and if we get the thing is if we get down this. It's, they're just going to use their... It's not going to get 5 power max. So that's just going to instantly one get traded away. Oh well. We'll do that just to delay one hit, I guess. To face. Because they can still kill that without losing a unit, which is the big issue. And they still get off drain. I mean, we can now kill the uh, this Dawn dude. That's a double invade there. With a ward as well. There is nowhere for you to Oh boy. Um Right, I am slightly worried we just completely lost this, but we'll, we'll, we'll try anyway. There's no harm in trying. Just slightly damage the oblivion gate, I guess. I mean, we've pretty much lost this no shadow lane. Lethal drain breakthrough. Oh boy. This is how pretty much every game has felt so far during this event. They're just painful. <laughs> Ghostgate Defender might have to go for Kainru Champion, to be honest. And the thing is they can't actually get rid of Lava Atronach unless they... Yeah, they, they, they've realised that. It's worth just doing that. Okay, so you know what? Now that I say all that stuff, I do have a bit more confidence. Because they've only got one card in hand and a really strong Oblivion Gate. So, um, yeah, hopefully this gets lethal. Oh no, it's bloody used all the ring. Never mind. Should have summoned that in the shadow lane. Bit of an oopsie there. Well, I guess the supply runner can now go off. I mean, at least it's not a Daedra. That's what I'm happy to say there. Light of the free, just to get a bit of buffing going on. Hit face for one damage. And, um, you know, we might as well hit the sleeper once, just in case some annoying play comes. Or we might draw on Alexius Disciple and get the ability to heal that. And now as well, if we just throw everything, or we throw Ghost Gate at the sleeper, we can then destroy the gate with the other two units. I mean, that's not terrible with the Zivoli. That's a bit annoying. Because it means the Oblivion Gate's an even higher level as well. You understand nothing. I guess Light of the Free. Um, get rid of that. Hit the gate. Still don't destroy it. And speaking of gates, if we get down the gate's keeper <laughs> in the uh, field lane, 
you know, we can just slow down the attacks from that drainy dude. We, we might as well, just because we might be able to get like, lethal or something like that. No, we get drain, which I'm okay with. Hopefully, this looks like we are pulling it back, but at the same time, there are specific cards they could draw <coughs> Siege Crawler, which would pretty much just end this for us. Well, I say end, it would basically put us miles behind them. Okay, Zivoli. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't get a ward, so that's fine. It means Light of the Free can take it out. And then we can get rid of the gate this turn, which is a massive relief. And then we just start hammering down on face. I thought we'd put everything down the board just in case something stupid happens. Bleed for me. It's good because they're not drawing anything too powerful yet. <laughs> okay, um, I'm wondering how much I want to hit the most. Umril. Next one more time, yeah. 16. We can take them next turn. You will submit to our. We could do that's just a bit safer. It's one more card. Probably should have got down like an ordinator or something just in case, but yeah, no, I feel like we got it now. I will live forever. Just because they've got to set up their oblivion gate all over again now, which is where their power is. They're pretty much starting from the beginning again. Yeah, they they they, they misplayed that bad. Surely they would have wanted to play the gate before the. One day, just so it's a bit healthier. I don't know. They still get to proc off their two damage. Uh, well, I guess we could just do that to that to that. We win. Right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Very stress-inducing for me. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world.